the Lakota people, and Teton Sioux were an indigenous people of the Great Plains of North America. They are part of a confederation of seven related suit tribes, the Okethi Sakavin or Seven Council Fires, and speak Lakota, one of the three major dialects of the Sioux language. The Lakota are the westernmost of the three Siouan language groups, occupying lands in both North and South Dakota. The seven bands or sub-tribes of the Lakota are Sachangyu, Oglala, Itazipcho, Hunkpafa, Manhawazu, Sifasapa, Uanunpa. Notable Lakota persons include Thathankarayotake from the Hunkpafa band, Touch the Clouds from the Minikonju band, and Thasunka Witko, Marpia Luta, Heha Kasapa, Sinte Gleska, and Billy Mills from the Ogallala band. History Suan language speakers may have originated in the lower Mississippi River region and then migrated to or originated in the Ohio Valley. They were agriculturalists and may have been part of the Mound Builder civilization during the 9th-12th centuries CE. In the late 16th and early 17th centuries, Dakota Lakota Nakota speakers lived in the upper Mississippi region in present-day Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, and the Dakotas. Conflicts with Anishinaabe and Cree peoples pushed the Lakota west onto the Great Plains in the mid to late 17th century. Early Lakota history is recorded in their winter counts, pictorial calendars painted on hides or later recorded on paper. The Batiste Good Winter Count records Lakota history back to 900 CE. When White Buffalo Calf Woman gave the Lakota people the White Buffalo Calf Pipe, around 1730, Cheyenne people introduced the Lakota to horses, called Sung Kawakan. After their adoption of horse culture, Lakota society centered on the buffalo hunt on horseback. The total population of the Sioux was estimated at 28,000 by French explorers in 1660. The Lakota population was first estimated at 8,500 in 1805, growing steadily and reaching 16,110 in 1881. The Lakota were, thus, one of the few Native American tribes to increase in population in the 19th century. The number of Lakota has now increased to about 70,000, of whom about 20,500 still speak the Lakota language. After 1720, the Lakota branch of the Seven Council Fires split into two major sects, the Sawan who moved to the Lake Traverse area on the South Dakota-North Dakota-Minnesota border, and the Ogallala Sachangyu who occupied the James River Valley. However, by about 1750 the Sawan had moved to the east bank of the Missouri River, followed ten years later by the Ogallala and Brewer. The large and powerful Arikara, Mandan, and Hadatsa villages had long prevented the Lakota from crossing the Missouri. However, the Great Smallpox Epidemic of 1772-1780 destroyed three-quarters of these tribes. The Lakota crossed the river into the dry short shortgrass prairies of the High Plains. These newcomers were the Sawan, well-mounted and increasingly confident, who spread out quickly. In 1765, a Sawan exploring and raiding party led by Chief Standing Bear discovered the Black Hills, then the territory of the Cheyenne. Ten years later, the Ogallala and Brule also crossed the river. In 1776, the Lakota defeated the Cheyenne, who had earlier taken the region from the Kiowa. The Cheyenne then moved west to the Powder River country, and the Lakota made the Black Hills their home. Initial United States contact with the Lakota during the Lewis and Clark expedition of 1804-1806 was marked by a standoff. Lakota bands refused to allow the explorers to continue upstream, and the expedition prepared for battle, which never came. Nearly half a century later, after the United States Army had built Fort Laramie without permission on Lakota land, the Fort Laramie Treaty of 1851 was negotiated to protect travelers on the Oregon Trail. The Cheyenne and Lakota had previously attacked emigrant parties in a competition for resources and also because some settlers had encroached on their lands. 
The Fort Laramie Treaty acknowledged Lakota sovereignty over the Great Plains in exchange for free passage on the Oregon Trail for as long as the river flows and the eagle flies. The United States government did not enforce the treaty restriction against unauthorized settlement. Lakota and other bands attacked settlers and even emigrant trains, causing public pressure on the U.S. Army to punish the hostiles. On September 3, 1855, 700 soldiers under American General William S. Harney avenged the Grattan Massacre by attacking a Lakota village in Nebraska, killing about 100 men, women, and children. A series of short wars followed, and in 1862-1864, as refugees from the Dakota War of 1862 in Minnesota fled west to their allies in Montana and Dakota Territory. Increasing illegal settlement after the American Civil War caused war once again. The Black Hills were considered sacred by the Lakota, and they objected to mining. Between 1866 and 1868 the U.S. Army fought the Lakota and their allies along the Bozeman Trail over U.S. Forts built to protect miners traveling along the trail. Ogallala chief Red Cloud led his people to victory in Red Cloud's war. In 1868, the United States signed the Fort Laramie Treaty of 1868, exempting the Black Hills from all white settlement forever. Four years later gold was discovered there, and prospectors descended on the area. The attacks on settlers and miners were met by military force conducted by Army commanders such as Lieutenant Colonel George Armstrong Custer. General Philip Sheridan encouraged his troops to hunt and kill the buffalo as a means of destroying the Indians' commissary, the allied Lakota and Arapaho bands and the unified Northern Cheyenne were involved in much of the warfare after 1860. They fought a successful delaying action against General George Crook's army at the Battle of the Rosebud, preventing Crook from locating and attacking their camp, and a week later defeated the U.S. 7th Cavalry in 1876 at the Battle of the Greasy Grass. Custer attacked a camp of several tribes, much larger than he realized. Their combined forces, led by Chief Crazy Horse, killed 258 soldiers, wiping out the entire Custer Battalion in the Battle of the Little Bighorn, and inflicting more than 50% casualties on the regiment. Their victory over the U.S. Army would not last, however, the U.S. Congress authorized funds to expand the Army by 2,500 men. The reinforced U.S. Army defeated the Lakota bands in a series of battles, finally ending the Great Sioux War in 1877. The Lakota were eventually confined onto reservations, prevented from hunting buffalo and forced to accept government food distribution. In 1877, some of the Lakota bands signed a treaty that ceded the Black Hills to the United States. However, the nature of this treaty and its passage were controversial. The number of Lakota leaders that actually backed the treaty is highly disputed. Low-intensity conflicts continued in the Black Black Hills. Fourteen years later, Sitting Bull was killed at Standing Rock Reservation on December 15, 1890. The U.S. Army attacked Spotted Elk Nikuja Band of Lakota at the Wounded Knee Massacre on December 29, 1890, at Pine Ridge. Today, the Lakota are found mostly in the five reservations of western South Dakota, Rosebud Indian Reservation, Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, Lower Brule Indian Reservation, Cheyenne River Indian Reservation, and Standing Rock Indian Reservation, also home to people from many bands. Lakota also live on the Fort Peck Indian Reservation in northeastern Montana, the Fort Berthold Indian Reservation of northwestern North Dakota, and several small reserves in Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Their ancestors fled to grandmothers, i.e., Queen Victoria's land during the Minnesota or Black Hills War. Large numbers of Lakota live in Rapid City and other towns in the Black Hills, and in Metro Denver. Lakota elders joined the Unrepresented Nations and People's Organization to seek protection and recognition for their cultural and land rights. Government 
United States legally and by treaty a semi-autonomous nation within the United States. The Lakota Sioux are represented locally by officials elected to councils for the several reservations and communities in the Dakotas, Minnesota, Nebraska. They are represented on the state and national level by the elected officials from the political districts of their respective states and congressional districts. Band or reservation members living both on and off the individual reservations are eligible to vote in periodic elections for that reservation. Each reservation has a unique local government style and election cycle based on its own constitution or articles of incorporation. Most follow a multi-member tribal council model with a chairman or president elected directly by the voters. The current president of the Ogallala Sioux, the majority tribe of the Lakota located primarily on the Pine Ridge Reservation, is Brian Brewer. The president of the Sachangu Lakota at the Rosebud Reservation is Cyril Scott. The chairman of the Cheyenne River Sioux tribe at the Cheyenne River Reservation, comprising the Manhawa Zoo, Itazipcho, S.I.H.A. Sapa, and Uanunpa bands of the Lakota, is Kevin Kekula. The chairman of the Lower Brule Sioux tribe, which is home to the Lower Sikangu Lakota, is Michael Jandro. Tribal governments have significant leeway, as semi-autonomous political entities. In deviating from state law they are ultimately subject to supervisory oversight by the United States Congress and executive regulation through the Bureau of Indian Affairs. The nature and legitimacy of those relationships continue to be a matter of dispute. Canada There are nine bands of Dakota and Lakota in Manitoba and southern Saskatchewan, with a total of 6,000 registered members. They are recognized as First Nations but are not considered Treaty Indians. As First Nations they receive rights and entitlements through the Indian and Northern Affairs Canada Department. However, as they are not recognized as Treaty Indians, they did not participate in the land settlement and natural resource revenues. The Dakota rejected a $60 million land rights settlement in 2008. Independence movement beginning in 1974, some Lakota activists have taken steps to become independent from the United States, in an attempt to form their own fully independent nation. These steps have included drafting their own Declaration of Continuing Independence and using constitutional and international law to solidify their legal standing. A 1980 U.S. Supreme Court decision awarded $122 million to eight bands of Sioux Indians as compensation for land claims, but the court did not award land. The Lakota have refused the settlement. In September 2007, the United Nations passed a non-binding resolution on the rights of indigenous peoples. Canada, the United States, Australia and New Zealand refused to sign. On December 20, 2007, a group of Lakota under the name Lakota Freedom Delegation traveled to Washington, D.C. to announce a withdrawal of the Lakota Sioux from all treaties with the United States government. These activists had no standing under any elected be a tribal government. The group claimed official standing under the traditional Lakota Treaty Councils, representing the traditional TSPE. These have been the traditional form of Lakota governance, longtime political activist Russell Means said. We have 33 treaties with the United States that they have not lived by. He was part of the delegations declaring the Lakota a sovereign nation, with property rights over thousands of square miles in South Dakota, North Dakota, Nebraska, Wyoming and Montana. The group stated that they do not act for or represent the tribal governments set up by the beer or those Lakota who support the beer system of government. The Lakota Freedom Delegation did not include any elected leaders from any of the tribes. Russell Means had previously run for president of the Ogallala Sioux tribe and twice been defeated. Several elected Bia tribal governments issued statements distancing themselves from the Independence Declaration, with some saying they were watching the independent movement closely. Although some indigenous nations and groups around the world made statements in support, 
No elected Lakota tribal governments endorsed the declaration. In January 2008, the Lakota Freedom Delegation split into two groups. One group was led by Kanupag Luha Mani. He is a leader of Kanta Tenza, the traditional strongheart warrior society, that has included leaders such as Sitting Bull and Crazy Horse. This group is called Lakota Oyate. The other group is called the Republic of Lakota and is led by Russell Means. In December 2008, Lakota Oyate received the support and standing of the traditional Treaty Council of the Ogallala Teo Space. Current activism. The Lakota people made national news when NPR's Lost Children Shattered Families investigative story aired. It exposed what many critics consider to be the kidnapping of Lakota children from their homes by the state of South Dakota's Department of Social Services. Lakota activists such as Madonna Thunderhawk and Chase Iron Eyes, along with the Lakota People's Law Project, have alleged that Lakota grandmothers are illegally denied the right to foster their own grandchildren. They are currently working to redirect federal funding away from the state of South Dakota's DSS to new tribal foster care programs. This would be an historic shift away from the state's traditional control over Lakota foster children. Ethnonyms The name Lakota comes from the Lakota autonym, Lakota, feeling affection, friendly, united, allied. The early French historic documents did not distinguish a separate Teton division, instead grouping them with other Sioux of the West, Santee and Yankton bands. The names Teton and Tetuan come from the Lakota name the Dunwan, the meaning of which is obscure. This term was used to refer to the Lakota by non-Lakota Sioux groups. Other derivations include Titanka, Tintanianian, Titone, Tintana, Tintohas, Tintana, Tintan, Thuntotas, Tintwans, Tintana, Tintinos, Tentunha, Tintana, Tintana. Tentera, Tintinwans, Tindor, Tintau, Atintans, Antintans, Atentans, Atintans, Atrutans, Titoba, Tetungs, Teton Sioux, Teton, Tetone, Tetwan, Tetwans, Tetwan, Tetwans, Titvan, Tetins, Titan, and Tetanwan. Early French sources call the Lakota Sioux with an additional modifier, such as Sioux of the West, West Shias, Sioux des Prairies. Sioux Occidento, Sioux of the Meadows, Naduesis of the Plains, Prairie Indians, Sioux of the Plain, Mascoutans Naduesians, Mascoutines Naduesi, and Sioux Nomadis. Today many of the tribes continue to officially call themselves Sioux. In the 19th and 20th centuries, this was the name which the U.S. government applied to all Dakota, Lakota people. However, some tribes have formally or informally adopted traditional names. The Rosebud Suit tribe is also known as the Sachangu Oyate, and the Ogallala often use the name Ogallala Lakota Oyate rather than the English Ogallala Suit Tribe or OST. The Lakota have names for their own subdivisions. The Lakota are also western of the three Sioux groups, occupying lands in both North and South Dakota. Notable Lakota Arthur Amiotta, Ogallala artist, educator, curator, and author Black Elk, Black Hawk, Sans Arcatist, Medicine Man Mary Brave Bird, Sikangu writer and activist, Nathan Chasing His Horse, actor, medicine man, Chris Chavez, WWE wrestler, Crazy Horse, Gaul, Kicking Bear, Ogallala activist and warrior, Lame Dare, medicine man, Eddie Little Sky, Ogallala Lakota actor, Kevin Locke, Hunk Papa Hoop dancer and flute player, Karina Lombard, Lakota of descent actress, Russell Means, Ogallala activist and actor. Ed M. C. G. A. A., Ogallala Lakota author. CPT U.S. Marine Corp. F4 Phantom fighter pilot. Billy Mills, Ogallala Olympic gold medalist. Leonard Peltier, Turtle Mountain Chippewa Lakota activist, imprisoned for allegedly killing two FBI agents in 1975. Rain in the Face, Hunk Pa Pa War Chief who fought in the Battle of Little Bighorn, Red Cloud, Red Shirt.
Chaska Spencer, Fort Peck Lakota actor, Luther Standing Bear, Ogallala Lakota author, actor, and rights activist, Sitting Bull, Hunt Papa Chief, Eddie Spears, Lower Brule actor, Michael Spears, Lower Brule actor, Spotted Tail, Noted Warrior and Leader, Uncle of Crazy Horse, Moses Stranger Horse Brule artist, Touch the Clouds, Reservations, Today, one half of all enrolled Sioux live off the reservation. Lakota reservations recognized by the U.S. government include Ogallala, Sikangu, Hunt Papa, Nikonju, Itazipko, Sicha Sapa, Onunpa. Some Lakota also live on other Sioux reservations in eastern South Dakota, Minnesota, and Nebraska. Santee Indian Reservation, in Nebraska, Crow Creek Indian Reservation in Central South Dakota, Yankton Indian Reservation in Central South Dakota, Flandro Indian Reservation in Eastern South Dakota, Lake Traverse Indian Reservation in Northeastern South Dakota and Southeastern North Dakota, Lower Sioux Indian Reservation in Minnesota, Upper Sioux Indian Reservation in Minnesota, Shaco PMD Wakanton Indian Reservation in Minnesota, Prairie Island Indian Reservation in Minnesota. In addition, several Lakota live on Wood Mountain Indian Reserve, often Wood Mountain First Nation, northwest of Wood Mountain Post, now a Saskatchewan historic site.